In this lesson, we are going to go ahead and look at logarithmic and exponential equations. We've worked with logarithms and exponents before. Here we have the definition of logarithms. Uh, the power to which a base must be raised to yield a given number. To put a log denoted log base b of x, where b is the base. Changing from log form to exponential form is really important. We use this co concept often and vice versa. Uh, we also uh, use this idea that we learned about. We haven't seen it a whole lot, um, but really if you have an exponent, an exponential with a power of a logarithm with the same base, it's just equal to x, or if you have a logarithm with a base b, with the argument of b to the x, then it's just also equal to x. I have a review of the laws of logarithms here. They're already written out, a little bit sloppily, but they are written out. So you can rewrite those if you need to. Uh, we have the product rule, the quotient rule, the power rule, uh, log of 1, so log base b of 1 is always equal to 0. And then we have the change of base formula, which turns out to be very helpful in some cases. Although uh, our calculators these days, we don't need this as often, but it still is useful. So over here, I, I put a couple of suggestions uh, when solving exponentials or solving logarithms. Uh, first, if you can simplify this is actually more with logarithms. If you can simplify one side of the equation to a logarithm, then change from logarithmic form to exponential form. Um, we'll see a couple of those. And we'll also see if you can simplify both sides where you have a logarithm equal to a logarithm. You can just set the arguments equal to each other. Please remember that when we say the argument, that's log, log base b of... 3x squared plus 7. 3x squared plus 7 is the argument. So let's jump into some examples. Well, on this first one, it looks like we can use uh, our second suggestion because we have log base 5 on both sides. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our power property, and we're going to rewrite this as log base 5 of x squared equals log base 5 of 9. And what we can notice, we have log base 5 of something equal to log base 5 of something else. So those two arguments must be equal to each other. We take the square root of both sides, and we say we get plus or minus 3. However, 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 we can't take the logarithm of a negative. We can't put a negative 3 in there because uh, we can't take the logarithm of a negative. So our answer is actually just x equals 3. Moving on to the next one, looks like we can simplify this left side so that there's just one logarithm. So we have log base 5, and we have a sum here. So if we have the log of a sum, we can actually say the log of the first thing times the second thing. And now that we have it down to a logarithm on one side, we can use our first suggestion we can change this to exponential form. So this would be 5 to the first equals x times 2x minus 3, which we could have multiplied that out. We'll just multiply it out here. So we have 5 equals 2x squared minus 3x, and we'll subtract 5 from both sides. And then we'll try to solve by factoring. If factoring doesn't work, we can use the quadratic formula. So maybe we can do a 5 here and 3 here. Nope, that's not what we want. And I have 3. 5 and a 1, I started looking at the wrong thing. 5 and a 1, and we'll make this a negative and this a positive. 
we could check that we have 2x squared. Alder is 2x minus 5x is negative 3x minus 5. Okay, and then we can solve this. So x equals, from this one, we know this is 5 halves, or x equals negative 1. Going back to our original, are these answers okay? I can put 5 halves in both of those. However, I can't put negative 1 in because I can't take the log of a negative, and so that is not part of the solution, so x equals 5 halves is the answer. All right, this next example actually doesn't require logarithms at all, and we've seen these before. And what we want to do here, it's a good thing to always check, can we write both of these sides as the same number to a power? So on the left side, we have 3 to the 2x. 3 is a prime number. We can't simplify that anymore. However, on the right side, we have 1 ninth. I'll do this in a couple steps, although we're probably good enough to just do this in 1, but we know that 9 is 3 squared. However, we also know that if we have an exponent in, in the denominator, we can write that as 3 to the negative 2 to the x plus 5. And now we have a power equal to a power, and we get 3 to the negative 2x minus 10. And now we have two exponentials equal to each other with the same base, so their exponents must be equal. So from this, 2x has to equal negative 2x minus 10. And then we complete solving that, add 2x to both sides, and divide by 4. And so our answer is 5 halves. So those, again, we could figure out how to write those uh, as the same base. Over here, we cannot do that with 10 and 4, because 10 is 2 times 5, 4 is 2 squared. And so what we can do here is if we have an exponential equal to a number, a lot of times we just change this to log form. So we could write log base 10, which we don't need to write the 10 because it's a common log, of 4 is equal to x plus 1. And then we, there's a couple things we can do here. I would just subtract 1 from both sides. Now we have to be careful because we can't do 4 minus 1. So we have log of 4 minus 1 is equal to x. If you want to put parentheses there, you can. So that's an exact answer. We can put that into our calculator and find what that is equal to. So let's check that out. And so we went log of 4. I'm going to close the parenthesis and we subtract 1. So that answer is approximately negative 0.39979. All right. So we have an exact answer and then we have an approximate answer. Okay, we have a a couple more examples on the next page. This actually is very similar to the example we just did. Uh, we have an exponential equal to just a constant. So we can write this as log base e, which really is natural log of 7 equals negative 5x. We can divide both sides by negative 5. And that is an exact answer there. So I'm going to write x equals the natural log of 7 over negative 5. However, we can put that in our calculator. That is natural log of 7. Close the parentheses and then divide both sides by negative, or divide that by negative 5. And we get, it's very close to the other answer, negative 0.3892.
those were those last two examples were nice because we had base e and base 10 and those are right there on our calculator this one however won't be on our calculator but we can find this so we're gonna um, it's an exponential equal to a number five and seven aren't we can't they can't be written as the same base so we're going to change this to log form so log base five of seven equals x and here's where we can use the change of base formula we can just write this if we remember the log common log or natural log log of seven over the log of five change of base formula so we can do log of seven close parentheses divided by log of five close parentheses now before I hit enter, I do want to just think about this for a minute. We know that 5 to the first equals 5, and 5 squared equals 25. So our answer definitely has to be between 1 and 2, because 5 to the first gives 5, 5 squared gives 75, I mean 25, and 7 is somewhere in between there. So it's definitely going to be closer to 1. So let's hit enter and see what we get. It's about 1.2. And I'm going to stop there at 1.2 this time for my approximation, about 1.2. And so what this means, if we take 5 raised to the 1.2 power, and again, I rounded the 1.2, that should be really close to 7. Okay, we have this last example here. And in this one, we have two exponentials that cannot be written as the same base. We actually have two ways to solve this. And I'll go through both ways, and you can choose which uh, you prefer. So here we go. First way is going to be similar to what we did before, except we're just going to think of 5 to the x kind of as its own number. And so I'm going to change this whole thing to log form. So log base 3 of 5 to the x equals 2x minus 1. And over here, I can use our power rule. This will come out front, and we get x times the natural log, not natural log, log base 3 of 5 is equal to 2x minus 1. So when we solve equations, our goal is to get all the x's on one side, anything that doesn't have an x on the other. And to do that, we will subtract 2x from both sides. So we get x log base 3 of 5 minus 2x is equal to negative 1. Now, what we do here, we have an x in each term because we get all the x to the side. So we're going to go ahead and factor out an x, which leaves us with log base 3 of 5 minus 2 is equal to negative 1. And we will go ahead and divide both sides by log base 3 of 5 minus 2. And so there is one form of the answer, negative 1 over log base 3 of 5 minus 2. And we can get that. Uh, approximation. If you need to, you might want to you might need to use the change of base for this part. Although a lot of calculators these days you can just put that in your calculator. So log base three of five is actually uh, log of five over log of three, and you can get what that is equal to. However, I'm going to go. I'm going to show you that you can put this in your calculator. Um, many graphing calculators, you can do this. You just have to find where the function is. So on this one, I'm going to use this fraction. First of all, it just makes it easier to set up the same. And so I'm going to put this into there. So I have a negative one over. Now on this one, I can go to this math button. And down here, 
I have log of a base, so that's any base. So I want log base 3 of 5. And then I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. I mean, from that. Um, and hit Enter. And I get 1.87, about 1.87. So that's one method. And I do think that's the easier method. There is, however, another method. So I'll rewrite the question here. 3 to the 2x minus 1 equals 5 to the x. And in this method, I'm going to go ahead and take the natural log of both sides. Because uh, if we have two exponentials, we can take the common log or natural log of both sides. We can use our product rule, I mean our power rule. And that will give us... 2x minus 1, make sure you remember the parentheses, because that will be distributed there. And x times the natural log of 5. We'll go ahead and distribute the natural log of 3. So 2x times the natural log of 3 minus the natural log of 3 equals x times the natural log of 5. And here's where we want to get all the x's to one side again. So we'll go ahead and subtract. 2x times the natural log of 3. There's other ways maybe to get the x's on the same side, but I think this is the quickest way. So negative natural log of 3 is equal to x times the natural log of 5 minus 2x natural log of 3. On the right here, we can factor out the x because we want to solve for x. Natural log of 5 minus 2 natural log of 3 is equal to negative natural log of 3. And here, I'm going to divide both sides. And I'm going to write this in a little bit different form. This actually could come up here. And this is natural log of 9. So using that power rule again. And so we get x equals negative natural log of 3 over, we actually could use some more rules, but, or another rule, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this for now. So that's an exact answer. We can put that in the calculator. Again, I'm going to use this fraction button. And I have negative natural log of 3 over natural log of 5 minus the natural log of 9. And although these two didn't look very much alike, they are the same answer. And that's solving logarithms and exponentials.